Praise the Lord, everyone. Um, welcome to the God's Hiller 7 End Time Prophecy Channel. Um, I'm Sister Barbara, and I'm here today with the prophecy that I'd like to share with you. Um, I got it this morning. Um, I was hearing parts of it for, I'm going to say, off and on, um, uh, maybe a week or two. So join me in, let's see, 1 Corinthians, um, let's see, chapter 6, uh, verse 9. And I've been in here how many times? Know now ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covet covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Okay, so he's telling you um, straight up there, who is not going to inherit the kingdom? I, I know I mentioned these things several times, but this is what the prophecy is about. And again, um, we know we're waiting for some sort of an event. And this is rough again. So um, what I wanted to do is because I noticed that, um, well, Brother Dan actually noticed, that um, normally the end of the video doesn't get watched, I guess, a certain amount of time uh, frame we could tell. So I'm going to thank everyone in advance before I start the prophecy and then a little story usually I say after that. Um, I want to thank everyone for all of your encouragement. Um, thank you for all your support on here. Thank you for everything that you send us in the mail. Um, cards, gifts, notes, um, clothes, uh, everything, supplements, jewelry. Um, I don't think there's anything we didn't get. Um, thanking everyone, especially that helps support the ministry financially. Um, there's a great need right now. Um, so thank you so much, those of you that are able to do that. We really appreciate it. Um, what other thing? Thank you for the, the um, transcripts under the videos. That's fantastic. And then I was going to say this at the end, and I might add to it. Um, I did notice on the last video, and I don't want you people out there who are listening um, to be caught in a scam. Um, there were comments on there going back and forth about investing in certain um, companies, um, people were leaving phone numbers on there. Um, that will not be approved. We're not a financial um, uh, page. Um, I went back and I looked through the comments. I looked at all of the people leaving the comments, and I hate to say this, it looked like a group of people that just made new um, uh, channels. Don't get caught in a scam. Anyone leaving a phone number out there or, or sending someone to a financial link, I'm going to remove it, I'm going to delete it, and most likely you'll be blocked. That's not why we're here. If you have a channel that you just set up two weeks ago, please make your own videos, and you can do that on there, not here. Okay, so now, um, let's see. Um, I don't want to go off now on a tangent um, on, about that. Again, that's not why we're here. So let's get back to the prophecy. This is important, this prophecy. <clears throat> over and over, I have seen your days and nights of debauchery. That was the word I kept hearing. Generation after generation, this last generation, the most evil, drug addiction, lust of the eyes, pornography, filthy perversions. Well, I have given you time to know me. Your hearts belong to your father, the devil. My warnings to repent from wickedness have fallen on deaf ears because you believe they are not for you. Yes, that's exactly what's happening. So now he's going to review these things that were in that scripture. Adulterers, fornicators, liars, murderers of babies in the womb. You have not loved your neighbor as yourself. I see them homeless in the streets, mothers with children living in cars. Your technology, in most instances, has not bettered the people, but made it easier to hide evil acts. Hide on your phone. Hide on your computer. Yes, I speak plainly to you, because you are not understanding these acts have grave consequences. You refuse to humble yourself and ask 
those you have hurt or harmed for forgiveness. How can you say you are with me? Because of a cold, hard, unrepentant heart, your soul is in danger of eternal fire. Right now, the men of war have prepared to take advantage of your nation's weakness. War machines and missiles are on alert. Can't you see the writing on the wall? The nation will fall. Babylon will fall. Repent. Oh. Um, so, as I've said on several of the videos, um, I have a playlist with maybe 100 or 200 videos on there concerning um, Babylon being destroyed, the destruction of Babylon. God has revealed it that Babylon, um, in the scriptures, um, is talking about the United States of America. Not only to me, there's other people out there on YouTube with the gift of prophecy that are messengers saying the same exact thing. He's telling you in plain language what is going to happen and why it's going to happen. Do you understand? If you're on here for a while, you should already be knowing what's going on with these things. I can't say in any, any plainer. And he can't say it any plainer either. He gives you warning after warning, warner, warning after warning. Then I said on the other video, then wham, you're getting a hammer blow. That's what I used to do with my son when he was acting up. I, I, Brother Dan used to laugh. I give him enough rope, then wham, he's going to get it. This is what's happening to us. He's our Father in Heaven. He knows how to handle His children. And this is what He's going to do. There's going to be correction. There's going to be justice. We're not getting away with anything. You saw what He said. Our technology, and I actually went on and I clicked on, I think, the definition of pornography. And it showed the guy sneaking around, hiding on the phone. And I'm sure it's not just guys. Women sneaking around, hiding on the phone. Um, you're not getting away with anything. He knows exactly what you're up to. And if you're involved in any of the things that he lists in the prophecy or lists in the First Corinthians scripture, um, you need to stop what you're doing right now, repent, and then he also says about how you're treating your neighbor and how you're treating others. You need to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read about that in the book of Acts. That's what we follow. Um, and like I said on the other videos, this is it. You need to get your house in order. He's given warning after warning after warning. Every day when I get up, I'm thinking, is this the last day I might be um, having a prophecy or whatever? Is this the, my last prophecy? I don't know. But he's giving you warning after warning to get yourself straightened out, have a plan. Um, what are the things that I want to mention on here too? Don't be caught off guard if there's some sort of surprise. He says in here, where is that? I've been hearing this too, this part down here on the bottom. Right now, the men of war are prepared. I lost it. The men of war are prepared to take advantage of your nation's weakness. What does that mean? Why are we weak? What has been happening or not happening? You see what's going on in the government. Um, I don't watch the news or whatever. I, um, I just see what's going on when I get the links on my um, Facebook page. The, everybody's distracted with the election right now. This is the perfect time for someone to zap us or attack us. Have a plan. Have cash on hand. Um, I said this before. Um, have um, extra supplies. Um, then I had a comment under there. Well, you don't trust God. No, I do trust God. I listen to what he's saying. You're the one that doesn't trust God. I'm trusting him. He's telling us, get ready, be prepared. War is coming. I have 100 videos or 200 saying the same thing. So who's not trusting God? I am. I'm listening and taking heed of exactly what he's saying. He's saying, I have stuff out there from 2007 saying there's going to be food shortages. I have a dream or a vision. And in the dream or vision, the, uh, the National Guard or whoever was in charge was taking me in a big warehouse building to get food. Think. I could only pick one or two items off of the shelf. That was how the dream went or vision. I was accompanied in taken around, get a couple of things, and leave. That's it. You think I don't believe that? I do. I lived, uh, uh, in, when the National Guard was in charge during the flood, I lived, I saw what they did. Um, it took me four hours to get over the bridge in a two-minute trip. I had to be stopped at the bridge. Um, I had to show my ID. I had to tell them why I was trying to get into the other town. They wanted my ID. Think of that. Two hours sitting in line. This is why I'm telling you to be prepared. You don't know what's going to happen. Then when I did get to my house, um, everything was closed. There was no banks. Everything was closed. The grocery stores were closed. Everything was closed. There was no power. Have a plan if that happens.
have canned goods on hand, have things you could eat without using heat, have cereal, that's what I did, get stuck up on some cereal, have dry milk, I did that. You need to think ahead, or, or as they used to say when I was in high school, think out of the box. This is what you need to do. Think of every scenario that could happen and what is going to happen to you. Um, someone said, well, I, I don't have money to do this or that. And I'm going to tell you the same thing I told my son at Christmas time. Christmas comes the same time every year. So you have 12 months to prepare to know it's going to be Christmas. Don't wait to the last minute and then be running around. Don't come begging to me at the last minute. Nope, I was already prepared months and months ago. The things, like I said, I told him, and he had this sad look on his face. I said, every year is the same time. You have the whole year to prepare. Even if you save $5 a week or $5 a month, you have money then. Don't come crying and running around. The government's not going to bail you out. They're not. They didn't help us over there. And they were making all these, and I mentioned this on another video, they were making all these collections for the poor people in the flood. I saw collection c containers all over everywhere. Guess what? We got nothing. Where did all that money go? That's what I'd like to know. We got $200, I think, from FEMA. That was it. It didn't even cover the, the food that was lost in my refrigerator when the power went out. Think about it. Have a plan. I'm not telling you this just to spend my breath on here. I'm telling you this is serious business. When he's telling us this, that the people on um, the war, our enemies, are all prepped up and ready to go. What did he say about the missiles? War machines and missiles are on alert. Yes, and I know that they can reach us right now. And we're all targeted. They have little um, things. You could actually Google it and see where the targets of, of nuclear strikes or bombs are headed. You could see right on there. I was on the link before. Don't sit back and be a victim crying like my son. Stop crying. I don't want to hear it. You had all year to prepare. Well, the birthday's coming. I don't care. It's the same time every year. Don't give me that. You have extra money. And then don't tell me this stuff like my mother. Oh, well, she had money for cigarettes or she had money for wine. Nope. I don't want to hear that. Pay your bills. Get in order. Get, get a plan. I'm not going to bail you out if you're sitting there and you're being naive or just um, not listening. Nope. The government is not going to save you. Think about it. Have a plan. If you have money to buy, here's me, to my son, if you have money to buy smokes, I don't know how you could. I could not never afford it. Then I almost died when I saw that cigarettes were $7 a pack. What? Gee, you need to quit. How could you afford it? So don't whine to me and cry that you don't have money. I told everybody in the family that they gave me a whining story. I said, what are you doing with your money? Oh, well, I bought this and that. Well, don't buy it. Well, I can't help it. I don't care. I could help it. I'm not going to give you money to buy cigarettes or booze or drinks or whatever. Well, I have a, a shopping addiction. I can't stop buying clothes. I don't want to hear that. Go to the thrift store. I did it. Go to the consignment shop. I did it. I did all this stuff. You're not going to get have me handing, handing and bailing you out because you're not listening to what he said. He doesn't work that way. So who's not trusting God? I'm trusting him that he's telling us what to do, what's coming. I have 500 videos out there. You can name any sort of doom thing. I probably have a prophecy on it. Just Google it. Put in Godzilla 7 and pick a subject. Volcano eruption. I think there's two of those. Uh, earthquake. There might be three of those. You've been warned over and over and over. And don't cry and whine because that's not how it's going to go down. He's up there listening to all the cry criers, uh, whiners, and moaners down here saying, I see what you're doing at night. I see what you're doing in bed when your wife is sleeping. I see where you're going in the day when your husband is working. This is what's happening. He knows everything. You're not getting away with anything. Why do you think I'm on here over and over saying the same thing? You have to repent and be ready. He's saying, you're listening to my message, which is his message, and you're saying, this isn't for me. This is for someone else. I don't do any of this stuff. Are you sure? Are you lying about little things? Are you leaving things out? I know. I did that. Here's me. Well, I'm not going to tell the whole exact story. I'm going to leave the parts out that might help some hurt somebody's feelings. That is what I did. That is a lie. I had to repent for doing that. If you're doing that and you're just leaving the parts out that might hurt somebody's feelings, guess what? You're lying. It comes straight up. That's it. You're lying. I'm a liar. I admit it. I do it. Brother Dad goes, I know you're not telling the whole story. You're leaving parts out. Yes, I don't want to make somebody cry or hurt their feelings. You're not getting away with anything. You need to repent. I do it daily. I even say, please forgive me if I did something and I don't, I'm not even aware of it, bring it to my attention. That's what I do. You need to do that too. If your family doesn't want to listen to you and they don't want to get prepared in case there's a disaster or a war, 
or we get attacked by the enemies and they're all surrounded us, um, you, if you tell them, then you have no other choice. If they don't want to listen, you did your job. That's it. You can't force it down somebody's throat. I said this before. Okay, I'm starting to go off, but this is important. He wouldn't keep giving me over and over and over the same messages, not only me, I see them in the prophecy groups, I mean the same thing over and over about earthquakes, earthquakes coming, um, uh, food shortages, uh, military in charge, National Guard, and now we have the coronavirus um, vaccination thing that's going to pop up really soon. What are they going to do? Don't wait till the last minute and start running around saying, now what am I going to do? I can't get to the store. No, think about it now. What are you going to do? Do you have a plan? Do you have a garden? Do you have food? Do you have stuff stored up? Think about it now. Don't wait till the, till the um, disaster strikes and then be crying. I'm telling you this to help you and to give you an advance warning like he does it in the Bible. If you read the Bible, you should have by now. He does it all through the entire Bible. He gives warning. He tells you what's coming. He's doing it now. Everybody's screaming the same warning. Don't be sit sitting there like a victim caught off guard. Don't. Make sure you have gas in your car all the time. Um, what other thing did we have? We have food and supplies. Um, we have some um, emergency cash on hand for, for whatever because we don't know what's going to happen. It's possible that the technology is not going to work. Um, the banking systems and stuff like that. And then there will be people that are taking cash just to get, give you food and stuff. That's how, how do you think you're going to get by? Also, if you have jewelry, you might have to sell that. That's, I think that's what they did, uh, the Jewish people, the, when the Nazis uh, took over. They were selling their jewelry trying to survive, trying to get away. You don't want to be in that same boat. And if you're not familiar with the Holocaust, I have prophecy out there that says the next leader, the tyrant leader, is going to be very similar to Hitler. Go back and look at history. History repeats itself. It's going to come again. Look, I can feel the Holy Spirit coming all over me. This is why I'm telling you this. Read about the Holocaust. Read about what they did before they took over and put everybody in concentration camps. Read about it now. History repeats itself. The Lord says he does the same thing over and over. And apparently we don't learn from the history and we're going to get it again. There's going to be another leader like Hitler and we're not going to get away with anything. We might end up in concentration camps the same way. This is what you need to hear. Please have a plan and be prepared. I even told my family, my daughter and my granddaughter, my daughter-in-law, um, if something happens, um, whatever you have in the jewelry area, that may be a bartering tool. Think about that. Have a plan. Okay, I'm going to go. And God bless you all. Once again, thank you everyone for um, everything you do for us. Um, all the encouraging comments. Um, and again, um, no advertising or soliciting on the page. You'll get blocked, banned, and removed. Um, I don't want to see anybody caught in a scam out there. Don't. Don't go ahead and go on anybody's link that's giving you stuff under the video. If they were legitimate, how about this? They'd have their own page and they'd send you a, a link to their, their web page or something. Not, not their phone number, not somebody's name. Don't fall for it, please. I just ended up closing my credit card over that. And here's what happened to me. They would, I was reading an article, then a little pop-up came, uh, came on um, saying, um, you could get CBD oil if you just pay shipping and handling. Hmm. That doesn't sound like a bad deal because I know I paid a real lot of money for it. So you get a roll on and you get a CBD oil. Just pay shipping and handling. Okay, that sounds good. So I got it. Yep, I got it. It's in the bedroom. I didn't open the stuff yet. Then all of a sudden I was like, uh-oh. I saved this $150 charge on my, on my credit card. I go in there every day and check everything. So I'm like, what is this? So I, I get the, first I got the PNC alert telling me there was something suspicious. Yep. Did you order this? Nope. Go on the thing. I talked to the lady at the bank. She said, this is a scam. Really? I didn't know that. Now, years ago, Brother Dan and I, in the credit card papers, came, you pay shipping and handling, and you got little Lennox vases and bowls. We did that. No problem. So I kind of thought it was the same thing. She goes, no, this is a scam going on. Don't do anything online that has to do with you paying shipping and handling because there's fine little writing or they don't tell you. Um, it's not, it was, nothing was in the package when the stuff came, saying that it's only a trial. And if you don't return it in like 10 days, then you get charged all this humongous amount of money. That was not on anything I saw anywhere. It didn't come with it. Think on that. Don't get fooled. Don't get... I ended up closing my checking account over, or my credit card over, over that. Because then after I talked to them, told them the whole story, last night I went to look just to make sure nothing was going on. Oh, no, not again. In pending, I see a $100 charge. So I called the company. I called the PNC first. They gave me the number of the company. They even know who the scammers are. I called the scammer company, 
And I'm like, I never agreed to this stuff. I agreed to shipping and handling for a product. And that was it. It didn't say anything else. Well, it said if it was a, f a free trial and if you don't return it in 10 days. I said it didn't say that. No papers came with it. I have it on my dresser. There was nothing with it saying that anywhere. She goes, wait a minute. Let me read your stuff. She goes, it says it's um, Sister Barbara. Yep. I said, Sister Barbara, I have a church ministry on YouTube. Blah, 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 blah. End of story. We get disconnected. Okay. Next thing I know. And I said, thanks, God. Next thing I know, I look in my um, email. There's a message from the lady at the scam company. I had the feeling she was going to delete or, or what do you call the charge? Cancel it. There was the email saying she was doing it. How about that? That was God working. She's thinking, Sister Barbara, hmm. I'm like, this sounds like a scam to me. I said, What's, what is the address of your company? I was going to mail the stuff back right then. Well, we don't have an address. Hmm. How could you not have an address? Maybe it's a telemarketing place. People all over the country, you don't know what they're up to. You have to have an address if you're a company. It doesn't matter now. God took care of it for me. Don't get stuck or caught in the same scam. Don't do it online. Don't do it with anybody under the video comments. If they were that legitimate and their business was that great, they would have their, a link to their, their uh, what do you call, webpage uh, or a Facebook page with all of their stuff on it. Don't get scammed and, and swindled out of money online. Okay, I'm going off, but you need to know that. I was caught off guard by that. Never expected that. A million years, I had, I had never even heard of a scam like that. Never. So since, like I said, we did it before, probably 30 years ago with the uh, credit card, and got lovely Lennox stuff, a little, um, what did I get, little bowls and some vases. Just pay shipping, and it worked out, so no problem. That's not how it is now. God bless you, and be safe. We love you guys.